Hey, what's going on everybody? It's Charles with Semperfy Exteriors. I wanted to say welcome and thank you for watching the video. I'm out in Henrico, Virginia today. And uh, I just wanted to kind of make a quick video today to show you guys, you know, kind of what I do every day. I mean, uh, so today we're working on a uh, removal of some tree limb, uh, a, a big tree limb, actually a bunch of tree limbs. But we're working on removing that and, and tarping up the roof. So I'm gonna set up the phone in a good place so you guys can uh, watch me get to work here for a couple minutes. I'm gonna have to run to Home Depot at some point, but uh, I'm gonna keep you guys with me along the way. So let's check it out. So that was the removal of a very large tree limb from the uh, roof. At this point, I'm gonna go ahead and figure out exactly what size tarp that I'm gonna need to use because we're gonna need to tarp the area where the, um, where the tree obviously hit the roof. We're also gonna need to tarp up that fascia area right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure the board that fell. just so I make sure that I buy the right size tarp. All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the tarp and I'll be back in no time. All right, well, thankfully, Mr. Homeowner is a, a pretty handy guy. So I thought I was gonna have to go out and stop at Home Depot or Lowe's and pick up a tarp and all my equipment. But um, like I said, Mr. Homeowner has some uh, tarp laying around. So we'll be able to use that. Um, we also got a broom, cause I wanna be able to clear off, uh, you know, the entire space of the roof to to get rid of all the debris before we lay the tarp down and also document you know all the damages before we lay the tarp down as well um so i'm going to get started on that and then you know after i finish up the tarp we should be just about good to go here uh for for today so let's let's get to it Oh my gosh, man, all that sweeping brings me back to my days in the restaurant industry. Um, but anyways, we have a clear surface to go ahead and uh, and nail on to now. But before I did that, I needed to go ahead and document photos of the damage that occurred to the roof for the insurance carrier. Um, so now I figured I'd do the same and show you guys some of the damages that we're seeing on this roof. Uh, so this is, again, caused by the fallen tree limb. You can see what has occurred there is completely damaged up the shingle. There's a lot of spots like this where you see a small impact uh, that a branch, uh, one small branch probably came through. Um, but let's take a look because there's a lot of damage. Uh, this is one of the first areas. You can see a huge gash in the shingle where a tree limb hit. Another one right here. Right there. You can see a mark. More hits right there. Right here, right there. So there are a ton of hits around uh, around this roof where the tree actually did impact. Here's probably where some of the worst damages are in this area. In this area as well, right here. You can see one shingle came all the way off and these got punctured all the way through. Here, I'll put the camera right over so you guys can see. The fascia board came out and, uh, and the plywood was damaged as well. So again, this is just everything that I'm gonna wanna document and pay attention to before we go ahead and install the tarp. Uh, but now we're ready to go. So back to the time lapse. 
All right, so uh, I'm all finished up with the tarp. It probably took me a little bit longer than it should have, and I wasn't able to get a time lapse of the tarp. My phone is running out of storage, so crazy stuff going on, but I was able to finish up the tarp here, as you guys can see. Um, and I installed a whole bunch of cap nails in there to, to ensure that the tarp was nailed down and that it won't come up uh, if we have any high winds or high rain. So you guys can see that we've got that open area covered up now. Um, just to give you guys a little bit of background on this homeowner, he had the, the tree fall on his property last week on a Tuesday, I believe. We were able to get out here for him on Saturday. He called us up, we scheduled the appointment right away and made it out here. Um, you know, yesterday he was talking to me, we got him, uh, we got a claim filed for him. So now he's ready for the insurance process, but um, we needed to get a tarp up there and we didn't have any time yesterday. We know it's supposed to rain this afternoon, so he asked me if I could come out on Sunday in the morning, and I told him that I would definitely come out Sunday on the morning to put the tarp up for him. Um, and I just wanna let you guys know that's not something that is unique to me. Uh, there are plenty of other workers at Semperfy Exteriors that would do the same thing and go the extra mile for their clients to make sure that they're taken care of. Um, and yeah, so I just wanted to kind of tell you guys about that. I thought it was a pretty cool story. Hopefully that the, the tarp holds up here and you know the claim goes well, we're able to take care of this homeowner. And, uh, and get the roof replaced for him, get everything returned to before the damages had occurred. Again, uh, it's Charles with Semperfy Exteriors, and if you guys are interested in having us come out to take a look at your property for whatever reason, just go ahead and give us a call or check out our website. We'd be more than happy to come out and help out in any way that's possible. I'm all done for the day though, so I'll probably go ahead and pick up a smoothie or something like that, and I'll get back to you guys later. Take care. Hey everybody, just wanted to say I thank you and uh, I really appreciate you if you watch to the end of the video. Again, like and subscribe, call Semperfy Exteriors and ask them for Charles if you'd like me to come out and take a look at your roof. Uh, I'm going to be making a lot more videos like this, so stay tuned. Uh, thanks again and I appreciate everybody.